our astronauts coming out now. This was the last time these seven astronauts were seen alive on Earth. 20 years ago, they boarded the NASA space shuttle Columbia for a research mission at the International Space Station. And just over two weeks later, on February 1, 2003, 16 minutes before the shuttle was due to touch down, NASA lost contact. I'm, uh, Charlie Hobart calling uh, Columbia on UHF frequency. The shuttle had disintegrated after one of the wings was damaged, leaving more than 2,000 pieces of debris scattered across large parts of Texas and Louisiana. The loss of the Space Shuttle Columbia was catastrophic. The Space Shuttles were originally designed in the 1970s, and they were built to be reusable, which means that different parts and pieces were being replaced. The reason not to just continue to push that technology was that by the time it was retired in 2011, it had been flying for decades. Um, largely remarkably successfully, given even the losses of Challenger in 1986 and Columbia in 2003. NASA now relies on Russian Soyuz rockets as well as the Crew Dragon from Elon Musk's SpaceX to take astronauts to space. Boeing is also developing its own fleet of shuttles, but the risks remain significant. I don't think anyone involved with human spaceflight would reliably tell you that it's safe. Um, airlines, in fact, are, and that's a part of an iteration of repeated safety practices. But even with that, it's with the diligence on the practice that really keeps it safe. While not the first tragedy for NASA, the loss of the Columbia stunned the world. Seven astronauts died taking their expertise with them and leaving grieving families behind. Yasmin Alsabawi, TRT World, Washington.